Hey class, so in this video I'm going to talk to you about how to calculate density. So, um, what is density? Well, density is a calculation. It is D equals M over V, where M is the mass of an object or a solution divided by the volume of that object. So you should also know what mass is and what volume is. So mass is the same as the weight on Earth. Mass is determined by the number of atoms in an object. We'll talk about that later. Uh, volume is the three-dimensional space the amount of three-dimensional space that an object takes up. So, in that lab that we did with the blocks, we saw that some objects floated and some objects sank. You notice that the ones that sank had a greater mass in grams than volume in centimeter cubed. And we noticed that the ones that floated had a greater volume in centimeter cubed than mass. So that means that if you divide mass by volume and things that float, you'll get a number smaller than one. If you do mass divided by volume for items that sink, you'll notice that the density is greater than one. So what is the density of water then? Well, if you take one centimeter cubed of water, right, one centimeter on each edge, so it'd be one centimeter cubed, you'll notice that it actually weighs one gram. And a centimeter cubed by definition is one milliliter in the metric system, which is kind of interesting. So Anything that it has a density of one gram per milliliter is the same density as water. So anything that has lower density than that will float. Anything higher density than that will sink. So you have to be able to rearrange the equation D equals M over V into its parts. So into, it, into the other equations. So we have M equals D times V when you multiply both sides by V. or you can solve for V, which is M over D, right? You multiply both sides by, uh, by V and then divide both sides by D. But if you're not so good at algebra, here's a little tool to help you remember what math to do. You draw a triangle and you draw these lines and you put M at the top of the mountain. So maybe your mom's number one, so you put M at the top, or if you want to say M is the top of the mountain, so you put M at the top. And it doesn't really matter where you put D and V. Because when you cover up M, it's D times V because D and V are next to each other. When you're solving for D, M is over V, so it's M divided by V. And if you cover up V, you notice that it's M divided by D because M is on top of D. So that gets you all these equations. So now let's do some sample problems to see that we know how to do this. So the first question is, what is the density of a solution that has 2.5 grams of sugar dissolved in 500 milliliters of water? So remember, we're talking about the mass of the, of the whole solution divided by the volume of the whole solution. We, it says here that, that the assume no change in volume. So I'm just going to put that on the bottom, 500.0 milliliters. Now usually this is not exactly true because when you add uh, something that dissolves to, in water or something, you just add a solute to water, it actually increases the volume by just a little bit. But this problem is saying don't, just assume there's no change in volume. But at the top you have to put the mass. Now, you can't just put this, because that's not just the mass of the whole solution, you've got to take the mass of this as well. Now luckily a milliliter of water is the same as the mass of water numerically. So you just add these numbers together and you get the mass. So it's 
0.5 grams per milliliter. And then you divide. So I'm gonna bring out my calculator here. 502.5 divided by 500 and we get 1.005. Now both of these numbers have four digits so I'm going to write four digits in my answer. 1.005 and we have to write units. Grams divided by milliliters. Notice grams is on the top, milliliters on the bottom so the same thing is true in my answer. So that's how you write the answer. Remember, you always write units, you always show your work. Okay, number two. Th this problem says, what is the volume of a solution that has a mass of 90.5 grams and a density of 2.5 grams per centimeter cubed? So, we draw our triangle to help us remember what the equation is and we cover up V, so it's M divided by D. So we write the equation. Then we put 90.5 grams on the top and 2.5 grams per centimeter cubed on the bottom. Now we know that we're solving for volume. So we know that you have to have volume as units. You notice here that the grams is on the top and the grams is on the bottom of the fraction, so when that happens, they cancel out, right? And you have one over one over centimeter cubed here as units. So if you don't understand this, just write centimeter cubed as your answer. But basically, if you were to divide by a fraction, you multiply by a reciprocal. So it's divide by one over centimeter cubed is the same as multiplying by centimeter cubed over one. Again, if you don't understand that, don't worry about it. Ask your math teacher or ask me, and I'll explain a little bit more in detail. But the idea here is, is that your units are centimeter cubed because you're solving for volume. And remember, centimeter cubed is the same as milliliters. So you do 90.5 divided by 2.5. Get clear here. Okay, so the volume is 36.2 milliliters. You notice that one of your numbers in the, in, the, um, in the given here, in the givens, is only two digits. So your answer is 36 centimeter cubed. For the purposes of this quiz, I'm just going to, you know, if you write three digits in your answer, always, then I won't mark it wrong because, because all of the givens will be either two, three, or four digits. So one, being one digit off is not that big of a deal, even if this were AP Chemistry. Okay. So, last sample problem. If you know how, if you can get this, go ahead and try it on your own. Pause the video and see if you get it right. Okay. So, what's the mass of uh, of the solution if a total salt water volume of 450 milliliters has a density of 0.55 grams per milliliter? Again, just a made-up problem. So, we're going to get our triangle here. M at the top of the mountain, D and V at the bottom. You solve for mass, so it's D times V. And then you plug it in, 0 0.55. Notice I'm, all, I'm gonna write my units too, grams per milliliter. And volume is 450 milliliters. Now all we do is plug it in. Notice the milliliters is on the bottom of the fraction here, and the top of the fraction there, so they cancel out. So we're going to get grams as our answer, which makes sense because we're solving for mass. So it's 0.55 times 450, and the mass is 247.5. We notice there's two digits on the left and three digits on the right. So the answer is two digits, so the answer is 250 with rounding. 250 grams is the mass of the solution. So I hope this is helpful. and. Uh, Please make sure you write any questions down and I'll be happy to answer them in class. Have a good one. Bye.